Your eight minute question and answer period will now begin. Looking at the triple bottom line, people, planet, and prosperity, is there one of those where your team could have done better? Um, we had a lot of challenges that we thankfully overcame due to the COVID pandemic. Um, where we could have potentially done better was to uh, generate revenue or gain sponsorship in a financial aspect. If your team was given $25,000 right now, what would you use it for? Uh, I think we would really have to analyze where all of our projects are sitting and um, as well as what we have set up for future um, progression for the team and just really find out where it would best be utilized in regards to projects and creating impact. What areas of your projects do you see as most innovative and why? So I can talk with that. Uh, I think for the Say My Name project, uh, we have pivoted everything virtually. And I think that's the case with all of, all of the projects we do, including our Say My Name, Planet Heroes, and Seniors project. So pivoting virtually for all of our projects is something that I find really innovative. Even though we didn't have options, we had to change a couple of things uh, to make them work and still deliver the same values and the goals that we initially planned. How did you manage to meet and plan for your projects as a team despite COVID-19 restrictions? Uh, for Planet Heroes specifically, uh, we would do weekly team meetings over Microsoft Teams. Um, and in the beginning when it was uh, more ideation and hands-on collaboration, we did use Miro. Uh, for the seniors project, we met on a weekly basis um, and then volunteered our time to record our stories. Was there any unexpected negative impact or externality related to your projects? Uh, with Planet Heroes originally having a partnership to go into local elementary schools and teach in-person workshops, uh, we did have a bit of a challenge that we had to overcome with school closures in regards to being able to reach out to local youth. With, with the Say My Name project, uh, we used to de de deliver the project in person when, when it started in 2018, but uh, it was closed for last one year because of the pandemic. And, uh, you know, since it was pandemic, so now we pivoted it virtually and that, you know, pivoting it was the biggest challenge uh, in terms of Say My Name. Uh, for stories for seniors, um, in phase two, we actually had to get vulnerable sector checks. Um, so waiting on those uh, in order to be able to volunteer was definitely um, a bit of a challenge. What accomplishment from the last year are you most proud of? Uh, I would say, uh, thankfully, um, still being able to be president of the team. Uh, one thing that I would definitely be proud of individually and as a team is just this bond and the strength that we've, you know, overcome and but also continued because of the pandemic. Yeah, I would, I would echo that. And I am proud of the success and recognition that, you know, we have gained this year as a team for, for our projects and even individually. A thousand percent. Um, I also want to echo that as well. How do you measure the long-term impact your projects have on beneficiaries? For Planet Heroes, um, we have made sure that the project extends over a period of time where there's one to two week sessions that are teaching each of the 17 sustainable development goals. So it really gives us an opportunity to connect with our youth participants. And then we've also got Instagram so that we can continue to connect with them afterwards and have plans to have other programs that we can have them involved with. Uh, as part of the Say My Name, Georgian College Student Association is one of the beneficiaries who utilizes the Say My Name project. Uh, and, you know, how they're going to be sustainable is that they have partnered with Inactive Georgian and they will continue the project into their Head Start programming, their orientation sessions, any projects or programming that they run virtually, uh, they're gonna use Say My Name project in our name backgrounds like my name, you know, to help people pronounce their, their you know, virtual names.
uh, specifically for the seniors project, um, especially due to COVID. We know that seniors um, often feel lonely. Um, so this project will allow many people to volunteer their time in order to uh, create a story. What is an example of a hurdle you faced because of COVID-19 and how did you overcome it? Um, I would say if we wanted to talk about a project for Planet Heroes, it would be, um, again, reaching our target audience and being able to develop a group to be able to host a pilot for the project. Uh, we overcame that by using personal connections and resources and things like uh, youth groups at local churches. And then as a team, um, I think it would be more just keeping the team engaged and keeping everybody on the same you know, belief that even though we can't do things in person, we can still make a difference. No, yeah, definitely. The biggest challenge for me, I think, was to just manage my time being working from home. I'm working from home, I'm studying from home, and then on top of that now, the change in the shift is volunteering from home with an actors and other, you know, other organizations. So that was something that I had to really manage into one calendar, you know, making different color zones and, uh, you know, just giving a differentiation of what I'm doing in what time. How did you come up with the idea for your projects? Uh, well, Planet Heroes actually was something that I had thought of a while back um, because I do have a son as well as nieces and nephews that are in the age group that we are currently working with. So it was more just from personal experience for me personally with Planet Heroes. The, the Say My Name project actually came, came to existence because we were working on our first project in our very first year, uh, Georgian 101, which was a guidebook for international students. By working on that, we used the persona of a, a girl called Fatima. That was our persona. So while we were deciding her name, we were just within our group discussing about, you know, is, is how are we gonna pronounce her name? Is it Fatima, is it Fatima? And just while having those conversations, we, we clicked an idea that why not to have a project where people can embrace their names and you know, the names of people means a lot to them and we don't want people coming into Western countries change their names because they have authentic meaning. So that's how the idea for the same my name came because we wanted people to cherish what name meanings they have and embrace their true, true identity, spreading inclusion. Uh, Stories for Seniors started because of the social isolation and lack of communication between grandparents um, and parents and just uh, neighbors, et cetera. Um, we wanted to get into contact um, and with a recent uh, loss of a team member's parent, um, that kind of really evolved the project to what it is today. Tell us about your project's marketing strategy to reach your target audience. Your time has now expired. Thank you, Enactus Georgian College.